Welcome to the beginning of your guitar adventure. You have been strumming on the ukulele, or maybe you haven't. But regardless, we are going to be tackling this beast. Now I was going to say little beast, but he ain't so little. He's a big boy. We're going to be tackling this big boy together so that we can be able to strum him, make some beautiful sounds, and hopefully stick with him for the rest of our lives. So, just a heads up, we are going to be moving through a lot of things very quickly, simply because you already have so much information, especially if you've already done the ukulele, where you'll be able to understand a lot of things. So this is going to seem like a crash course in the guitar, so that we can really get going into some of the good stuff and we don't stay in the basic stuff for too long. So, make sure you had your apple juice and you got some cookies by you, because we're going to be zooming by. So, starting off, we obviously have our head, we have our neck, we have our body, we got our bridge by the sound hole. We got our nut all the way at the front. We have our frets. Notice how big the frets are compared to the ukulele. The rule still applies that you want to keep your fingers on the front side of every fret. Especially now because the frets are way bigger. And ukulele, your finger would kind of take up the whole fret. But here, there's no way. And it's even worse when you're playing the bass guitar because it's like super fat. You can have one fret the size of two over here. So you always want to make sure you get the best sound by doing two things, using enough pressure on your fingertips and making sure in the front. If you're not in the front, what you get is, all right, doesn't matter where you are. If you're not on the front side, you get a bad sound. But if you're in the front side, you get a good sound. All right, so always be on the front side of life, especially on your frets. So that's our frets. And obviously the fretboard is the place that has the frets and the fretboard is on the neck. So starting off, before we ever play our instrument, we need to make sure it is in tune. So what are the names of the strings? We have Eddie, Eight, Dynamite. If you dynamite, you go kablooey. So you gotta tell Eddie, good, bye, Eddie. So Eddie, Eight, Dynamite, good, bye, Eddie. The first letter of Eddie is E. And also on the bottom string, we have another Eddie, which is E. So we have two E's. How do we tell the difference? This one is low. This E is high. So we call this the low E and high E. But you'll be like, huh? But Mr. B, this low E is way up high and this high E is way down low. You are right, but you are thinking in terms of position. In terms of the positioning, yes, the low E is up high and the high E is low. But in terms of pitch, the low E is low. And the high E is high. So that's why we call it the high E and we call this the low E. So make sure you don't get those two confused. So the E string, eight, not number eight, but I ate something before doing this and now my stomach's feeling funny. That is the A string. Then D for dynamite, G for good, B for bye. Make sure you don't say goodbye on one string. It's good on the G string. B, bye on the B string and Eddie again on the high E string, okay? So low E, A, D, G, B, high E. So once we have the names of our strings, we want to make sure we're in two. And the same rule applies. You have to listen to see which direction, when you turn the tuning peg, which direction does it make it higher? Does it go And which direction does it make it lower? All right, so make sure you're turning in the right direction. And always make sure when you're checking it out, you're, all, you're double checking that your thumb and this hand are on the same string. You don't want to be on this string and then you're tightening the other one. You're like, hey, why is it not working? But secretly you're turning this other one and it's going haywire and then it snaps and you got a scar on your face for the rest of your life. Why? Because you forgot to put your eyes on where you're going. You always got to keep your eyes on where you're going so you don't crash, all right? So make sure your thumb is on the same place as your left hand when you're tuning it up. And let's grab our handy dandy tuners. We have our guitar tuner. So right there, hopefully that looks a little bit familiar. But this time you gotta make sure it's on guitar mode, not ukulele mode, okay? And it'll be pretty obvious on how to do it. You already know how to tune your ukulele and stuff. But if you want to have the exact numbers, you'll have the low E as E3, the A string as A2, the D string as D3, the G string as G3, the B string as B3, and the high E string as E4, okay? And those are your octave numbers. All right, so next thing we need to know is how to hold this little triangle thing that you learn about that uses the Pythagoras theorem in order to calculate its different areas of density, I think. So this is our guitar pick. 
And if you don't have one, tell your mom and dad that you need one, preferably you need two, because you're gonna lose the first one. Once you get the first one, then you'll need to find the second one, and you need to keep that safe. If you have a phone, best place to keep it is in the cover of your phone. I've had very many people that have done that and they never lose the thing. They still have the first one. But most of the time, just get two, okay? And you want it to be around 0.71 millimeters thick. Between 0.71 and 0.9. Below 0.71, it can be a little bit floppy. Above 0.9, it's a little bit rigid and it'll be, it won't be good for strumming. But it'll be good for single notes when it's a bit thick, okay? So, with your guitar pick, what you want to do is point at me like this. Yep. Yeah. Pull me like that, then curl your finger in so that your knuckle is now facing me. Now you'll take the pick, the pointy side of the pick, and you will turn it this way. All right? You'll turn it in the direction that this knuckle is pointing. So not the knuckle pointing towards me, but the knuckle pointing this way. Okay? Or in yours, it might be the other direction. I don't know how the mirror is working. But you take the pointy side and you face it in that direction. So it's facing that way. Then you take your thumb and you rest it. Don't poke it. Don't poke it like that. You need to rest it. And you'll have very little triangle sticking out. You don't want to have this whole pick sticking out. No, it's like a pen. You need to have only a little bit. Okay? Just a little bit sticking out. And that's going to allow you to do a lot of things quick and have a good grip on your pick. In the beginning, when you're starting off, it's going to slip and slide everywhere. But the more you get used to holding it, it's not, you're gonna not even going to realize that it's not falling out of your hands anymore. But anytime the pick ever falls out of your hands, keep playing. Don't stop. The show needs to go on, okay? So, that's how we hold a pick. Point at me, curl the finger in, find the pointy side, face it this way, the side that your fingernail is pointing. Take your thumb and rest it on top. Have little sticking out. And also open up your three fingers. Don't let them be a fist. Or else it'll make it very, give it a lot of weight. And we don't want a lot of weight. We want it to be nice and light. So let these three fingers hang loose. Hang loose, brother. And that's how you hold your pick. Now, let's get into some of the good stuff, which are our chords. So let's zoom into the neck and let's break down quite a number of chords because we're going to crash course this time. All right, so starting off, we're going to learn an E major, okay? We want to be able to learn these five chords, C, A, G, E, D. Together, they spell the word caged. I'm not going to show you them in that particular order, but we're going to get all of them, okay? So let's start off with E. What you're going to do is take your middle finger, put it on the second fret of the A string, push it forward, make sure it's on the front side of the fret. Take your ring finger, put it right underneath it on the second fret of the D string. Take your index finger and put it on the first fret of the G string, okay? So second on the A, second on the D, second on the G. And when you're playing the guitar, you have to make sure you strum it from the right root note. Not every chord gets a full strum, doesn't get all the strings. In fact, when you play all the strings on some of the chords that need less strings, it sounds it's muddy and it doesn't sound good, okay? And once your fingers are in place, give it a strum from the low E string, because it's an E chord. Making sure every string sounds nice and crispy, nice and clear. If your fingers drop, right now you're probably not seeing my fingernails, and you're wondering, hey, where is your fingers? But I explained it, so you should be able to know it. But the reason why you can't see my fingers where the strings that they're pressing is because I'm using good technique. If I was to let them fall down like this, this is how it would sound. You'd have a lot of muted strings. So you need to roll them up, curl them up, and make sure they're on the fingertips, not on your fingerprint, but on your fingertip. All right, so if you have long nails, girls, you gotta cut it on the left hand, make sure you grow them on the right. And then, if you wanna get an E minor, just remove your index finger. So now that G string is open, and that's E minor. It's more spooky. And they're all E chords, so you strum them from the E string, okay? All right, and then on to the next one, our A chords. What you're gonna do is take this exact same shape that you had for E major, take it all down a string. So your middle finger is now on the second fret of the D, ring finger on the second fret of the G, index finger on the first fret of the B, nothing's on the high E. This is called A minor. And since it's an A chord, we strum it from the A string. Do not strum it from the low E, strum it from the A. All right? And one quick thing to note, if you don't have a pick, go ahead and just use your thumb. It'll sound a little bit duller, because this is my pick. This is my thumb. But it's gonna get the job done, okay? Or you can even use your finger. Like a ukulele, but you get some of that raking sound. All right, so use your thumb or your pick. That's called A minor. So we strum from the A string because it's an A chord. Now, to make it A major, we keep our middle finger and our ring finger, but we let go of our index finger and we put our pinky finger on the second fret of the B. So these three fingers are all together 
on the same fret, second fret of the D, second fret of the G, second fret of the B, nothing on the high E. Now, what will happen is if your hand is flat like this, it's going to push the pinky out to the next fret. It's going to be trying its best to get it there, and you're going to be trying to resist it. But here's the cheat code. Turn it out, twist your hand towards the head like this, and then put the fingers. You'll have some space here. That shows you're holding it good and that everything is not fighting, okay? So this middle finger will be pushed a little bit back. The pinky will be furthest in front and the middle will be in the middle. But that's what's going to give you a good fit and get you a good sound. So that's called A major. So A minor was behind with the index finger. A major was in front. Alright, so let's try those four chords. E major, E minor, A minor, A major. So E major. One, two, three, four. E minor. One, two, three, four. A minor, take it down, add that finger, strum from the A string. One, two, three, four. A major, pinky power. One, two, three, four. Any A chord, strum from the A string. All right, let's go to some D chords. So what we have here is our D chord. Now, if you've played ukulele, all you have to do is take the G chord that you know on ukulele and put it on the guitar. A G chord on the ukulele is a D chord on the guitar. So your index finger on the second fret of the G, ring finger on the third fret of the B, middle finger on the second fret of the high E. And you strum the, any D chord from the D string. All right, so that means you skip the low two strings, the E and A, and strum it from the D string, okay? Very important, this D chords are very unforgiving if you don't strum them from the D string. And this is called D major, okay? So let go, put it back on. D major, should be easy if you've been playing the ukulele. And then if I wanna make it D minor, I'm, you see where my index finger is? I'm going to put my middle finger where it is, and then my index finger is now gonna go onto the first fret of the high E. This is called D minor, and it's the same as a G minor on the ukulele, and I strum it from the D string. Make sure each string sounds nice and clear. For these D chords, it can be a little bit harder, so make sure you curl it up nicely, get on your fingertips. All right. Next point I want you to notice, my thumb is remaining up high for all of these chords. Whether it's an E major, an E minor, an A minor, or an A major, yeah? Or a D major, or a D minor. For these open chords, that's the name of the chords we're learning, our thumb stays nice and high, all right? It allows us to have a good curve and be able to block some of these strings when we don't want to hear them. And also, we'll be, there'll be a time we are using our thumb, strange enough. So that is D major, D minor. Let's give four strums on D major, then change to D minor. One, two, three, four, change. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's take it now to our C chord. So our C major is gonna be ring finger on the third fret of the A, middle finger on the second fret of the D, nothing on the G string, and your index finger on the first fret of the B, and then nothing on the high E. Any C major, you strum it from where the ring finger is. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Now, some of you are probably not going to be having that sound because it's a little bit tricky. So what you want to do is, you want to make sure you have a bit of an angle, all right, when you're playing this, this C major chord. If you go too straight and then your thumb is low, you're going to have a little bit of a hard time. I can do it, but you're going to have a harder time. So make sure your thumb is nice high and your fingers are slanting, okay? They're pointing towards you, like they are pointing towards me. That's your C major. Notice how it's also like stairs. Your index finger is on the first fret of the B. You skip that G, so that means you take a big leap, whoop, come up to that second fret on the D, third fret on the A, right there. So it's like you're hopping, then you climb the stairs. That's your C major. You need to practice that on a couple of times to get a good sound. Your fingers might be burning right now, and that's just the nature of the guitar. It's gonna hurt a little bit more, but it does not hurt as much as it would if you didn't play the ukulele before. If you didn't play the ukulele before, it would be hurting quite a lot. But since you have, it shouldn't be too much. That's your C major. Now to go to our G major, what we're gonna do is take our middle finger up and our ring finger up. So middle finger goes to the second fret of the A, ring finger goes to the third fret of the G. And now this is the tricky one. Every person struggles with this chord, but it is a necessary struggle. And it is one that you'll remember for a long time. Your pinky goes on the third fret of the high E. So your fingers are probably gonna be like, oh, I can't reach it, I can't reach it. 
but you gotta practice it. I used to struggle with this. Everyone I've taught this always struggles with it. I've only seen a few people who haven't, but they had weird looking fingers, so they had that advantage. Hopefully you have weird looking fingers and you can hold it, but if you're normal, like some of us, you're gonna struggle with it. So that's called our G major, okay? So let's try it again. Make sure you can see where the fingers are. Remove your hand. Let's put it back on. Ring finger on the top. Second finger on the A string. Pinky there. All right, nice and clear. We don't just want to be holding the chords for the sake of holding them and not get a good sound. So if I go to C, let's try hold our C chord. Strum from this ring finger. Then I go to my G, I lift these two up, make sure they're on the front, remove my index, add my pinky at the bottom. All right. So that's my C to my G. So let's try and run through all those chords. Let's start off on an E major. Get to E major, and then we'll change to E minor. Four strums. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. E minor. One, two, three, four. A good way to remember E minor is how does Spider-Man shoot his webs? Pew, pew, like that. So these two fingers, your spider fingers. That's an E minor. All right, let's go from A minor to A major. So take those two fingers down, add that finger down there. Let's strum it from the right place, the A string. One, two, three, four. Add your pinky on the second fret of the B. One, two, three, four. That's your A major. Let's now go to our D major and our D minor. Ready? Let's go. Strum from the D string. Notice how we've gone one string lower for each of those E, A, and D. D major. One, two, three, four. Change to D minor, knock off that index finger and take it down to the first fret of the high E. One, two, three, four. Then let's go to our C major, make some stairs with a space on the G string. Strum it from the same string that the ring finger is on. One, two, three, four. Shoot it up, remove the index, add the pinky on the bottom. One, two, three, four. Alright, now you probably need to practice those very many times and get used to the shapes. Be able to know the shapes on command. Those are your five main chords and we've learned the minors for three of them. The E, the A, and the D. So we know the E major, E minor, A major, A minor, D major, D minor. But we haven't done C minor or G minor. We've only done C major and G major. Okay? So practice those a couple of times and I think those are about what 10 chords. Let's see five six seven eight I think those are about eight chords, but now we're gonna make them ten So let's learn our first song and it's only gonna have one of the chords. We've just learned look at that So what you're gonna do is Hold for me a, a minor and Remove your index finger now It's like another spider-man chord But the two fingers are down a string and you're gonna strum this from the a string so open B, open high E, strum from the A. That is called A sus2. That's your ninth chord. All right, that's A sus2 right there. And let's learn our 10th chord. Hold for me a D major. And remove your middle finger, so you have an open E. And that's called D sus2. All right, so D major with your middle finger, D sus2 without it. Right, so let's try that A sus2 to D sus2. 2, 3, 4, D sus2. 1, 2, 3, 4. One more time. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we're going to go from this D to an E major chord. So I'm going to slide my finger. I'm not going to remove it. Slide my index finger to the first fret of the G. Add my middle finger on the second fret of the A ring finger in the second fret of the D. So now I have my E major, but I didn't remove my index finger. I just moved it. I didn't remove it and add it. No, I moved it. So now I'm on my E major. All right. And for each of those chords, make sure you strum from the right root note. So what I have so far is an A sus2 to a D sus2 slide to my E major. Then I'm going to go back to a D, sus2, and then an E major, all right? And this is going to sound like this. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
do 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 one two three four D sus two two three E major one two three four D sus two E major so you're holding everything for four beats except that last D sus two and E major okay so one two three four strum it from the right string E's from the E string A's from the A string E major then back to D from the D string, D, and then E, da da dum bum bum, ba da 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 dum dum dum, da 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 dum dum, da 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 dum, da da dum. And once you've got used to strumming those with single strums, let's now finish up by getting our right hand with a strumming pattern that we already know from the ukulele called our basic rock strum. So mute the strings and give me a down down. Down, down, one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, it's, you should be playing it now. Down, down, up, up, your turn. Down, down, up, up, my turn. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. That's our basic rock, rock strum. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, your turn, down, down, up, up, down. All right, now let's see if you can do that basic rock strum twice in a row. So, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, your turn. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. My turn three times. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, your turn. Down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. My turn for four. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Your turn. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Up, down, nice. Now, one thing you'll notice is when you're strumming, it's more from my elbow, okay? More from my elbow than anything else. However, you, any good strummer always uses wrist motion. So one thing I love about moving from ukulele to guitar is you have that wrist action because you're always strumming with your wrist. So it's gonna make you a really good strummer if you came from the ukulele to the guitar because you're gonna have a nice loose wrist, all right? And then eventually it'll be less of your elbow and more of your wrist doing the work, okay? So let's get back to our song. So we have here our A sus2, all right? Then our D sus2, then our E major, then to our D, slide back to our E. Now our strum's gonna go down, down, up, up, down, twice on the A, then twice on the D sus2. Down, up, up, down. Still strumming from the right root note. Then E major, down, down, up, up, down, down. Down. So, so far we strummed A sus2, D sus2, and E major twice. Two down and up, up, downs each. Let's try it again. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, D sus, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, E major, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Now, you might be like, sir, this is too quick. You're moving way too quick. I don't even have the shapes. That's all right. You got time to practice it by yourself. You can come back when you think you got it good. All right, so once you do all of those with two down and up, up, downs, we're going to now split the down and up, up, downs. The D sus 2 will get one down and up, up, down. And then E major gets one down, up, up, down. So one on the D, one on the E. One down and up, up, down, okay? So everything gets two, then D sus 2 and E major get one at the end. Then you repeat. So it uh, sound like this with the strumming. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Strum the D sus two from the D string. Up, down, 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 up. E major from the E string. Down, down, up, up, down, down. D sus two, then E major once. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Let's start again from the beginning. A sus down, down, up, up, down, down. Alright. 
let's put that all together. You're gonna do it with me, and then you're gonna do it by yourself, all right? So all of that makes one round, from the A to the D to the E, then the D, E again. That's all one round. We're gonna do that four times, and the first two rounds are just gonna get single strums. The last two rounds are gonna get the down, down, up, up, down, our basic rock strum, okay? So let's try it nice and slow, starting off with our single strums. Then E major, second round, let's go. Dum, dum, da, 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 dum, dum, dum. E major, da, dum, 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 da, 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 dum, D. And then E. Now we bring in our strums, last two rounds. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Major. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, D, then E. Down, down, up, up, down, down, start again, last round. Da, 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 us too nice and airy all right now you're gonna do it by yourself i'll play that melody what i've been singing you play those chords remember first two rounds single strums last two rounds bring in your down down up up down all right ready get on that ace us two one two three go to that e Second round. Still single strums. One, two, three. Bring in your strums. Down, down. Do da, do do. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. down. Us too. All right, and that right there, my people, is Walk of Life. All right, and that right there is the song Walk of Life by Dire Straits, D-I-R-E-S-T-R-A-I-T-S. Go listen to it, and you'll know that you're able to play it. All right, now, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to know the shapes for 10 different chords, an E major, an E minor, an A minor, a major, an A sus2, a D major, a D minor, a D sus2, a C major, and a G major. If you know that, you know 10 chords and you're having a pretty good foundation. Practice them a couple of times so they really get stuck in your head and you can't forget them. And you'll be able to know, all right, this is how a C sounds. And make sure you get them nice and clean. It's harder to get clean sounds when you're playing it for the first time, but you still need to give attention. Your fingers are going to burn, but it's going to be worth the burn because you'll be making some good sounds rather than someone who just, it's like, all right, I put my fingers in the right place, but I'm not pressing, I'm pulling them to the back side. All right? So those are our chords. That's how to hold or pick. This is the guitar. That is your first song, Walk of Life, Dire Straits. I'll see you next week for our next lesson.